I just wanted to make a quick guide on how to use the tell me when add-on. I was here by myself, but the disgusting gnome is here now, so I'm gonna move over here. Get away from me. You. Got it! So to start off, obviously you need to have the add-on downloaded. I recommend just downloading CurseForge and managing your add-ons that way. It's probably the easiest way. There is other ways, but CurseForge is by far the easiest. So once you have it downloaded, uh, next thing you need to do is just open the add-on. So there's two ways to do that. First way is type slash TNW for tell me when, and it will bring up your first group here and tell you that you're in config mode. So the other way is you can do escape options up here in your add-ons tab, and then the tell me when add-on, and then show main options. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down here to the general tab. You want to create your profiles for specific either classes or specs. I'd recommend specs because each spec you're going to be tracking different things. So the profile, we're just going to do Druid. Enter to create your profile. Now you can see we're in the Druid profile. So yeah, now that we have our profile set up, we're going to go into our groups. So your groups are these right here. These can be adjusted in multiple ways, but first I'm just gonna show how to track dots, buffs, and trinkets, and then I'll go a little bit into how to uh, move your groups around, kind of change the rows and columns, stuff like that. So uh, you're gonna create a group, rename it. Uh, this is gonna be Balance Druid. Enter. So now this group, that means this group specifically is for the balance druid. So what I like to do is just uncheck each role and each spec that I'm not using. Because like I said earlier, you're gonna be tracking different things for different specs. So now that our group's set up, we're ready to go with the icons. So down here, icon tab. Um, so first thing I'm gonna show you how to track is dots. So dots are considered a buff or debuff. So you're gonna click buff or debuff. And then what to track. I'm gonna track Moonfire in this case. So type Moonfire. And now all the suggestions are gonna pop up here on the right side. It's usually the first one at the very top. So we're always gonna just click this one and then we're not, we're not watching the player, we're watching the target. So type target target and now it's not a buff it's a debuff and you only want it cast by you you don't want to uh, track other people's moon fires so only cast by me check and then these two I really like to have because it shows you a timer and the text on when the dots going to expire so I'm gonna double click those and then that's it and now we're just gonna test it and I'm just gonna cast a moon fire Boom, there it is right there on the middle of your screen. Next one I'm gonna set up is Sunfire. So, icon type, it's a buff and debuff. Sunfire. And it's a debuff, only by me, and show timer, show timer text. Now we're gonna test both. Moonfire, Sunfire. Ah, see I made a mistake, I didn't put target in. Fail, 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 fail. Done. Now let's try. Yay! Okay, so our group's looking pretty good. The next thing um, we want to track is a buff. So as a balance druid, we need to track nature's grace. So right click your icon, icon type. It's a, also a buff and debuff. This time you're gonna leave it on player and the buff I'm tracking is nature's grace. And then this time it's a buff, only cast by you. Show timer, show timer text, okay. There it is, so now we got our moonfire here, sunfire, and our buff, nature's grace, right here. 
So the last thing I want to show you how to track in this guide is trinkets. So trinkets are also under the same thing. It's a buff or debuff. What to track. Now this is the tricky part with trinkets. You got to figure out what your trinket proc is actually named. So for me, the easiest way to do this, I have two um, proc based trinkets. So what you can do is just hit the target until it procs and then you can check what the name is here at the top. So I'm just gonna hit the dummy here for a while until my trinkets proc, so I can show you that. Okay, there we go. So I got one of my trinkets to proc, so up here you can see the name is the Foul Gift. So that's what we need to track. So we're back in our icon here. Uh, the trinket is a buff, and it's called Foul Gift. There it is, right at the top. Only cast by me. Show timer, show timer text. Now you can see, there it is. Nice and clean, right in the middle of our screen. So our UI is looking nice now. We got our Moonfire, Sunfire, Nature's Grace, and our one trinket. So now we're running out of spaces. Balanced Root has a lot of things to track. So I'm gonna show you how to either extend um, your groups or create new groups. So right click to open up the UI. So first thing I'm gonna show you is just how to extend um, your current group. So you go over here to the group tab and columns. Just turn it up. So five adds one more, six adds another, etc. So that's an easy way to just add it on. Um, but if you don't want it in the same group, say you want like dots and buffs separate, you can have a completely new group so to create your new group, again, we're just in the group tab and then select to create a group. You're going to want to do a new profile group because you don't want, like I said, if you want to track buffs and dots separate, you're going to have to have a different group. So we're going to rename the group. It's going to be, let's just call this one buffs and procs. Enter. There, so we got our second group set up called Buffs and Procs, and it's right here in the middle of our screen. I'm just gonna put this one on top. So the last thing I wanna show you how to track is just your procs. Uh, I don't really need this on a balanced druid because you get the visual. I have an add-on that shows the visual here at the top, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it anyway. So icon type, you would think it would be under reactive ability, right? But it's actually not. Uh, it doesn't work properly if you do it through reactive ability, so it's just a buffer debuff. Um, for reactive ability, it would be something like execute, where it's not specifically like a buff on you, but it allows you to use it on the target, if that makes sense. So for us, it's going to be a buffer debuff. And then it's called shooting stars. Only cast by me, timer, timer, text. There we go, I just propped a shooting star, as you can see right there, it's got the timer on it. Nice in the middle of our screen, and then when you consume it, it's gone. Okay, so the very last thing I'm gonna go through just a little bit is appearance. So, it's pretty easy to move them around, you just click and hold, and then you can move it wherever you want. You want it here, 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 it doesn't matter. Um, my cast bar is right there, so I'm just gonna put mine nice and centered Boom. and then pretty easy to resize them right here so on the bottom right corner got the resize bar they are a little big so we can put them down a little bit smaller however we want if you want you can have the dots a bit bigger and the procs or buffs a bit smaller whatever you want there we go looking pretty good pretty fire so I showed you the columns earlier. There is the rows section here. I'm just in the balanced druid group. Remember we created our two groups. This is balanced druid and this is buffs and procs. So we're in the balanced druid one. You can add rows, see? Extra columns, extra rows, however big you want it to be. In this case, we're just gonna put it back to one row with four columns. Uh, the only other thing I do want to go over is just opacity. So say you don't want this so like bright and in your face, you can turn it down a bit here. So it's going to reduce the opacity of it, 
which makes it a little less obnoxious on your screen. So you can see there's Sunfire versus Moonfire. Moonfire is a little bit uh, easier to look at, I guess. <laughs> but that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and like, comment, and subscribe.